Stay a while and listen. Hello, welcome to the Freak Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I start up my coverage of Eternity, the Last Unicorn. I know, it's a bit of a strange uh, title, but it's okay. It is by Void Studios and 1C Entertainment, and it releases on March 5th, 2019, so it should be today, if my scheduling works the way it's supposed to, and you guys should be able to grab it and play it and enjoy it and love it. We are going to begin now, and we're going to see what's up, so let's do it. I will be playing with a PS4 controller, just so you guys know. Just so. Not a lot of talking right now, but that's okay. I was expecting like a narration or something. It might come. Ooh. A long, long time ago, when the first elves reached the world of Alfheim, a heavenly and glorious power fell upon them. All right. I suppose I will narrate. The holy goddess um, Maria, Maria, creator and guardian of nature, handed them four sacred unicorns. These ancient legendary beings brought purity and balance to the elves, turning them into immortals. Hmm. This incredible, unimaginable power was passed on from one generation to the next, making every new life an immortal life. One night, the unicorn suddenly disappeared. It was thought to be witchcraft, and for the first time, the elves feared for their immortality as the divine provided by the unicorns was gone. Divinity was provided. However, perhaps by a twist of fate, one of the unicorns survived. The fairies found him. He had been cursed and had a broken horn. The elves, fearful of this curse, handed him over to the young elf who, according to ancient scrolls, was the only one capable of restoring the power from the very last Unicorn. Okay. And this was how the pursuit of eternity began. Sure. Oh. That's a lot of information. I wonder if it's going to prompt me to exit this or if I can... Oh, we'll try reading it. Vanaheim's Memorial. Makala's Temple. Makala's Temple was built in the Age of the Gods by King Oslav V. Back then, the lands of the north were constantly under attack from the giants that threatened the Midgard lands. There was once a gory battle in which King Oslav ran away towards the mountains of Fendior? Fendrior? Something along those lines. Or Fendiror? I got nothing. After witnessing the massacre of his army, adrift, he found a colossal image of a desolate goddess. Alone and gravely injured, he got down on his knees in front of her and made a sacred promise. He asked for the Lord Giant's head in exchange for building a temple in tribute to the goddess. Two days went by and the king, thirsty for vengeance, marched with his army toward Jotunheim, home of the giants, where he witnessed a true miracle. A large flaming sword came from the sky and cut down all of the giants, one by one, until their master was the only one left. Their master had his head cut off in a single blow. After that day, the king honored his promise, building a temple and covering the goddess with leaves from Yggdrasil, hoping to keep her spirit alive. Legends say that the origin of its name is the mystic forest of Mackenheim, where it's believed one can feel the presence of the gods. Okay, let's continue on. Hmm. Well, it looks like we have control of our character, but not the camera, interestingly enough. Ha, we, we this elven ch Oh. Oh. I can't go back now. All right, so we're this elven lass. And I don't know what I'm doing, obviously, but we'll figure it out as we go, I suppose. This will be fine. Can we touch this? Oh, we can. A stone wall engraved with some sort of tree. Fair enough. Oh, what's this? Something sparkly and mystical. Hey, the unicorn! 
Or the horse. With the nub. Hello. What about the goddess? Oh, I can talk to the goddess. Cool. Don't be afraid, Orihen. Sure. Come closer. I am a Makala, the guardian of these lands. I know why you are here. I can feel your pain. I know of your purity and your true love for this beautiful animal. Isn't it because of this animal that you are here? Granny. I conjure you in the name of all the gods for the spirituality born in the soul that dreams in the distant dark wilderness of space. Take the path of this uh, of the light. Push away the shadows that curse his realm. So the Elder Oracle will awake. Only he can help you. March through the fallen woods of Vanaheim and fulfill your destiny. And when darkness afflicts you, use the light flask. Um... Okay. Is, is this the light flask? It is. Hey. Cool. Still would love to control the camera, but that's okay. Can I talk to the unicorn? No. Uh, I, I guess I leave now. Hold left bumper or L1 next to the corrupted body to purify it from witchcraft. I can do that. Hey, dead guy. All are healed, I hope. Collect red crystal shards to buy new items and upgrade your weapons, and collect green crystal shards to recover some health. You are safe now. I mean, you're still dead. I mean, I, I didn't fix that, but you're you're at least safe dead. Dead safe? I, I don't know. Do, 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 do. Oh, oh, we see the reflection of us in the ceiling. That's that's kind of creepy. Sort of sort of see the reflection of us. Alright. Here. Become one with the weird lamp thing that we have. Ah, yes. The crystal shots. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, sorry. Hold R2. Uh, right trigger R2. Uh, okay. Press for attack and B to dodge. Okay. When this button appears next to an enemy, press it to instantly kill. Okay. Hmm. Oh, okay, there's more. When the enemy is defeated, you take some or you take some hits, the bar is charged. When you press right bumper, release a powerful attack. Okay. Certain enemies can drop items, interact with them to pick them up. Alright, a tiny elf herb, it partially restores health. Well, that was super fun. Press something to open. Nope. Open inventory. There it is. Select the healing item and press Y to assign it to a quick slot. Hello? Oh, okay. Select the battle rune and press Y to assign it to a quick slot. Okay. To use the healing item, use the battle rune. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. Well, I see a chest over there, and I see another thing on the other side. Well, let's go over here. Can I break the pots? Yes, I can. All right, what do I do with it? I can open the chest. That's probably good. Hello? I... Uh, I, I, I guess it worked. I'm not positive. Oh, is it locked and she's angry that it's locked so she can't open it? Well, that's disappointing. What this? Hello? Nothing? Oh, yeah. I guess I can't go that way. Oh, I don't like not being able to move the camera, but that's okay. We will try to play to our strengths and what we have available to us. You can check the tutorial again at the tutorial options inside the menu. Okay. Hmm. Cool, some more herbs. For more healing and fun. Mostly healing. Mm -hmm. To Fensalir, Vanaheim's memorial, Fensalir. According to the ancient Eda scrolls, the woods were the source of balance between the Norse reigns. 
The woods of Vanaheim were guarded by the old lords of the forest, four legendary beings born from the European ashes of Yggdrasil. Baldur, the god of justice and knowledge, handed the ensign to each one of them. They were then used to guard sacred places and valuable artifacts forged by the dwarves of Nida, Nida Valir. For years, there was peace in those luminous woods, but one day, the darkness destroyed all that was beautiful and fertile. And on that day, the lords of the woods succumbed to witchcraft. All right. Only one of them did not. The survivor of an inexplicable tragedy. Many years went by, and the balance only remained in one desolate area known as the Spirit's Woods. A place where the elders believe one can hear and feel the presence of higher forces. Rumor has it that the Spirit of Ear, the goddess of healing, wanders around these woods, healing the deepest wounds of the cursed roots. Okay. Okay, so here we are. Um, do we do we have to, like, redo everything? Oops. Do we have to redo everything every time we come here? Because, like, it looks like our healing thing isn't there anymore. Um... Set the quick slot. Okay, it's there now. Just in case I do something stupid and get myself killed. Which is very possible. It's, it's L1. There it is. Remembering these uh, button commands is going to be uh, the real challenge. Hmm. Okay, what's that? Ooh, that's weird. It's down here. This lake is very similar to those in Alfheim. The water looks magical. Okay. Magical water, ladies and gentlemen, because why not? Oh, bad guys. Oh, I got hit. Uh, yeah. Alright. You little gobble monster. Yeah, you can't handle me. Oh, gosh. Oh, you might be able to handle me. I've changed my mind. Ow! That's that one. Alright. Eh. Eh. I'm getting kind of destroyed slightly here. Oh, look at that! Executed. Okay, so there's only two groups of people. An unpleasant smelling plant. Use it to neutralize poison. I can do that. I got hurt a little bit. I am not the biggest fan of being hurt. A Varna's root used as a craft material. What's with the mystical shiny plant thing? Maybe something with it? No? How about you? Something is missing here. Okay. Fare thee well, potted pots of pot. I, well, I, I don't know if that's true, but... The path is blocked by magic. You cannot go this way. What about the weird glowy roots? Can I chop them? Apparently no. Apparently they just kind of, I deflect off of them. Well, that's one way we can possibly go. What if we go back over this way, though? That is a end of deadness. Well, I suppose we won't go that way then, will we? Okay. Got him. <laughs> All right, and he's done. Easy. I don't know what that was. I'm sorry. A spider mushroom cap used as craft material, and something else that I accidentally just skipped through. I assumed we had already found whatever it was that we were looking for. I will take your soul. Keep it in my little jug of soul food. And a scroll containing information on Elros Alcarin. Oh, Karnin? Uh, this button? What is this? Uh, Elros El Karin. Scroll one. Uh, oh, great Maria. I am a prisoner in this place. I cannot escape. I am using the scroll to try to give me the answers as to what I have seen in this cursed land. How could anyone call it a miraculous place? All I have found so far is death, loneliness, and a darkness that seems endless. I am not sure whether this is real or not. I have found so many strange things, I am questioning my sanity. Amongst all the terrible horrors I have faced, there is one I need to talk about. I have found a colossal creature in a desolate forest. I confess I did not have the courage to get close to it. 
there are many voices here, murmurs and whispers, whispers, whimpers, that deeply affect me. I was afraid to follow the path, but there is a route not very far from it. There may be something hidden there. I am lost. My curiosity be or brought me here, and now I am fighting to get out of this hellhole. Ironic, isn't it? If only I could go back in time. If only I could understand this world a bit better. I feel relieved at being able to write down these words, as writing is what has been keeping me alive. I will write whenever I can, if the gods will it so. Well, that's creepy. Thank you. Hmm. I suppose... What, what was that? Did I run or something? What did I just do there? I don't... I don't... I don't know what I did. I, I felt like I, I ran or something. I, I, I have no idea. Oh, 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 calm down, calm down. Oh, oh, I thought I had him. I thought he was gone. Coward. All right, weird tree spike monster guys. I'm gonna dodge away from you now. Oh, oh, he spat something. He drooled on himself. I think. Oh, 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 that okay. Not, not what I was expecting. All right. Nope. Oh, 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 that was nope. That was. I am poisoned. It is not going well for me. Your soul is not mine. But you, you did done get got. So. That's a thing. Oh, I healed up a little bit after getting owned. Oh, slow on the dodge was my fault. You would think with all my experience playing like Bloodborne and Dark Souls and all that, I'd be a little bit less terrible at dodging, super easy to dodge attacks. But no, no apparently not. I dodged that one. I don't, I don't know why she didn't actually dodge it. Thanks for that, buddy. Alright, so we have that now. Not sure what to do next. There's an old guy to my right. There's a thing over to my left. An empty flask. Cool. Oh, oh, really? Really, Gus? Alright, buddy. Hey, nope. Come on, spew your, spew your spew. Not this time, friend. Not this time. danced around you like you weren't even moving. He, he really wasn't moving much, but that's okay. Oh. Hint. Remember to always save your game. Your checkpoint will be lost if you don't use a bonfire before you turn off the game. Hmm. Where they got that idea from? I'm sure it's just a common thing. Alright. Can I open this? Does this one have a lock too? It does not. This one's actually openable. Cool. The King's Crystal S. A perfect and eccentric sure. Crystal, use it to obtain a small amount of fragments, or a small number of fragments. Ooh. We'll save the game in a... You know what? We're going to save the game now. Yes. Uh, sure. Cool. Arahen. 169 crystals. I like it. It's good. Onward! To a great victory! Uh, you're looking at this chest, Mr. Goblin Man. What's up? An outsider lost in this lonesome, loathsome swamp. <laughs> I am happy I have found you. Hey, I want to show you my goods. These rare things I have found. Interested? Maybe. I am willing to sell them for a special price, however. You will need to buy something right now. <laughs> Why do I feel like something's coming after me? Because something's coming after me. 
I was doing a thing. Oh, 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 oh that was the wrong button. Can't you see that I'm busy? Oh, oh. you don't want to. Wait, what? What? Oh, I'm glad I saved. Well, that was that was the worst. Okay, well, I don't I don't know what to say about that. Yeah, I was in the midst of con conversating with this guy, and stuff spawned and came to kill me. It's not cool. Uh, bye. Oh, you do have some stuff. Do you have any kind of, like, cool murder things? An ancient and powerful rune used to increase your attack power. Mm-hmm. Health, bunch of crafting materials. Neutralize poison, half restore health. Uh, I'm gonna leave. What's in the chest? So one thing to remember, guys and gals, if you are fighting these little floaty, spinny, hedgehog, evil, demon monster things, um, highly advise you to unlock from them when they start to spin. Because I dodged around that one, but it didn't actually do anything, which is very unfortunate. Right, we're gonna come over here. You knew I would have to die in the very first episode. Come on now. Alright, um... I think I'm gonna have to attack you first. I think doesn't seem to care that I keep smacking in the face. I'm not real sure why. Hey, I got a tortoise shell. That is the ugliest tortoise I have ever seen. That time it worked. I was able to dodge around it. Oh, oh my goodness. Did you see what just... Oh! Did he get... Did... Oh, there... No, no, oh. Dude? I'm sorry I called you ugly. There you go. There, there he is. There it is. Yeah, level two. What? I will take it. And I will like it. And it will be glorious and sweet, sweet, nice style. Alright, now what do we do? Hmm. I think what I'll do is I'll just... I'm going to break out the episode here. We'll continue our adventure in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. It's a bit different. I'm not sure I'm thrilled with the whole camera being locked into one position thing, but... You can play around it, and if you just, you know, lean into that and enjoy, it's not bad. The combat's pretty simplistic, just gotta get used to the button combinations. Like, I, I kind of want to jump, I can't jump, or dodge with, like, the X button on a PlayStation controller or an A button on a um, an Xbox controller, and it's actually the B button or the circle, and likewise... Having played, again, having played recently a lot of the Dark Souls and games, Souls-like games, um, my combat is a little bit different in my head because you use, like, the shoulder buttons and you dodge with... It, it's fine. It'll just take some getting used to. Anyway, the game, once again, is called Eternity, The Last Unicorn. And, yeah, it comes out today. Hope you guys enjoyed this very first episode, kind of like a first look, and we'll continue on, hopefully, tomorrow or the next day with our adventure in the land of Alfheim and, you know, surrounding areas anyway if you guys want more information about the game where to get the game information on the developer the publisher any of that wonderful fun stuff it'll all be down below in the description of the video and various links like it always is and hopefully you'll subscribe to the channel until the next episode my name is bumpy mcsquiggums thank you for stopping by the freak show and i'll see you later